Now, because it's Alphabet, <clears throat> excuse me, Alphabet Month, you know, Memorial, or not Memorial Day, but uh, D-Day only gets A-Day this month. And day. Alphabet, how you have sex gets a whole month. 24-hour fitness internal documents show, and this is uh, Carlos Trachiris who has this story, uh, show that transgender members and team members may use whichever locker room they prefer and that pride and BLM expressions are allowed all year, but the flag and U.S. logos are only for certain holidays. And they say that member privacy, transgender individuals do not always have to uh, basically tell you that they're transgender. You just got to just believe they don't have to prove anything to you. Hmm. And they said that religious concern. What if a member or team member states they have religious objections to sharing the locker room with a transgender member or team member? And the answer to this is a member's or team member's religious beliefs do not trump a transgender member's or team member's right to equal and full access to the club. So if a dude who identifies as a woman wants to take his wang out in front of you and show you his lady balls in the locker room, you got to go along with it. Doesn't matter what you believe. Doesn't matter if you feel threatened. You're a bigot if you do. True. Is this not, this is wild. And they said no proof is required uh, for uh, gender affirmation or anything like that. And they said that if you require someone who is transgender to use the, the facility to which their bits are from, then you're violating their right to privacy, but you're not violating the right to privacy of like the women or the dudes or anybody else. They have zero concern for safety or comfort in their, and these are memos that were circulated within the company. Uh, wow, I wouldn't want to go there. Can, it, can you just be a gem? Okay. Yeah. I, I, I mean, you have no right to to make women feel uncomfortable and threatened. If a guy out on the street were to drop trow and show you his frankenbeans, that's an arrestable offense. But if he goes, wait a minute, I'm a woman, and he does it in the locker room, you're the bigot if you feel uncomfortable. Right. And we all know that no one ever explo would exploit that rule at all whatsoever to prey upon anybody, right? We all know that. It's just, it's just wild to me. But that's, that's, that's the, that's the way it is. Now, can we talk about the UG stuff? Jeez, I can't even believe we're talking about UG. What? I don't hate UGs. I have a pair of house slippers that are, that are UGs. I never wear them outside of my house. There's several things I will not wear outside of my house. I agree with the late Carl Lagerfeld, who said that sweatpants were a sign of giving up in life if you wear them out publicly. If you want to wear joggers, fancy sweatpants, I just don't like sweatpants. I don't like, I don't like any of that out in public. I don't care if you're going to the store, you know, you don't, no one's asking you to dress up like you're going out to a fashion show, but do dress up like we are a civilized society and, you know, just saying. Don't wear pajamas out. And I don't, Uggs only make sense to me in a casual setting during the winter. Uh, and I only think that the boots make sense. All their other shoes are weird looking. Everything, why, what is up with the platform stuff? Why does every woman want to look like a damn Clydesdale? Why do you want to clomp around like a giant horse? Clomp, 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 clomp. I hate the big giant platforms. Your feet look enormous and it makes your legs look like chicken legs. Stop it. I think that platform shoes are a sigh up on women to make you look stupid. All right, so Ugg partnered with, the, do we have video of this dude? Do we? Oh yeah, there's video. It's on my rundown. I don't know who this guy is. He has said before that, quote, little girls are kinky. And if a dude uses a bathroom it's and the woman feels uncomfortable, it's her fault. He's a dude. He's a hairy dude. They're butt lighting themselves. And uh, I, I don't know why they feel like they got to <sighs> use this guy. His name's a lock. Minon, and they're using him for Alphabet Month, and they've got a video of him running around. I think he, he skinned Oscar the Grouch for a coat, and he's running around in a pink dress. And, show, like, literally, show, do we, yeah, show some of this video, Juan. 
I, yeah, we we can probably can't play the audio. You can show the video. I can't play the audio because they'll cite us for copyright violations. So they're using this guy to promote Uggs, the shoes. Um, what? I'm trying to understand this. Is that, that doesn't make me want to buy your shoes. They have a whole page for this guy on their, on their UGG website. The problem is trying to understand it. Does he wear shoes differently because he thinks that he's a girl? And he wants to, I don't know. Do you wear shoes on your hands? Is that how you wear shoes? I identify as wearing my Uggs on my hands. Look, it's Ugg hands. I don't, like, what, is that what it is? Like, what is it? They're shoes. I, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. So they say it's about his collection. And it's about, his shoes are ugly. It's the intersection of self-expression and pride fashion. And it just sounds like all word salad. Like, we live in a world that's taught us that we can only belong if we minimize ourselves. No one's thinking that you're minimizing anything. So, he has, he made a really, a dress that looks like he skinned a Muppet. This is 100% real Muppet. It's this pink dress that he's wearing. 100% real Muppet. And uh, then he's got these weird, ugly platform grandpa slippers. And... Uh, no woman in her right mind would wear that, by the way. I don't know. I, th I think it's ugly. Why do we got to do this stuff? Also, can I be real? I've met gay people. They're gay people that are, I, I'm related to some of them. Uh, I, isn't the stereotype that they have taste, typically? That stereotype kind of came from somewhere, right? I don't think he's gay. I don't believe you. Because you are too damn tacky. I don't believe you. Prove it. Just a piece Go kiss of, that dude. It's Prove a piece it. Of flare. <laughs> it's a piece of flair. It's so ugly. Do you see this stuff? It's so ugly. Ugh. Why, does, why would you want to do that? Nobody wants to wear that. No, you know, the only people who are going to buy that are him. Look at this. Look at this jacket. It's 100% Oscar the Muppet. I can't deal. 